Hey guys, Matt Numerick here today. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and we're going to cover the clinch. Now, when we talk about the clinch, we're talking about close quarters. If you guys seen any of my videos, you guys know that I love close quarters. It's the one range that we can really use as an equalizer range. All it means is that we can definitely fight people who are outside of our weight class and even our skill class as well. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring Max in here real quick. When we talk about the clinch, you know, there's a lot of different kind of lockup positions. We can talk about this kind of lockup position right here, obviously, okay? Uh, the one that I wanna cover specifically right here is a little bit different than that. All, we, all we're gonna do is we're gonna come in on this side of a person's neck. So it's the opposite side of the person's neck. So instead of grabbing this side, I'm gonna fire this way. Now obviously if I wanna do the other side, I can do this way. But for camera purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and do this side right here. Once I do that, I'm gonna pull down the neck. And as I do that, I wanna get to the side of them right here. I wanna be parallel right here with their shoulder. If you think about it, a person's strongest movements are gonna be moving forward. So what I don't wanna do is, I don't wanna put myself right here where I'm pulling the person into me and they can fire forward. I wanna go ahead, I wanna get off to the side right here where I have not only more control, but then also I have more options as far as what kind of targets I'm gonna hit. This is what I mean by that. Let's go ahead and let's take this really quick from this clinch position. I'm gonna fire across right here. And as I do that right here, I'm gonna pull back on his neck and then move to the side of the body right here. As I do that, now I can go ahead and have access to a lot of different targets. Like let's say a foot stomp right here, a knee strike right here to the thigh would be great, a knee right here to the ribs, but then we move to the other side right here. I can obviously do the groin or the stomach, I can do the chest, and then last but not least, I can obviously do the face right here. All viable targets, very, very dangerous in their own right. When we combo them together, it'll be that much stronger. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the setup because I think this is so important. If I wanna use this side, once again, I go to this side right here, but I just don't pull down, I pull and I move around to the side right here. Now, what I do with the other hand is just as important. When I go ahead and do this, I pull, get to the side, but then I wanna go ahead and lock down on the arm right here. Now, when I say this, I usually use the word uh, or the term bite. I wanna bite down on the person's neck. I wanna bite down on the person's tricep. That's what I mean by this. And when I go ahead and do this, go around right here, I wanna make sure that I'm grabbing hard right here on the person's neck. I'm not leaning on their neck right here and I'm not even doing what we call a shepherd's hook right here. I'm biting down by grabbing the person's neck just like this, but then I'm also doing the exact same thing right here with their arm and their tricep. The reason why this is so important is because now we have almost like a steering wheel to the body. If I want to move the person this way, I can move them this way. If I move them this way, I obviously move them this way. We not only have the arm movements, but we also have the foot movements. This is what I mean by this. When I do this, I need to make sure that I'm stepping and using the momentum to pull the person around just like this. So if I wanna go ahead and I wanna move this way, I take a big step right here and then follow up with a slide right here. Same thing right here. All we're doing here is, is moving the person's body. This is a very, very important if I need to go ahead and open up other targets, but also just as important if I need to put this person in the way of other attackers. I mean, if I get this person in clinch right here, but then all of a sudden his buddy right here wants to come into the altercation, I can go ahead and make a barrier right here where I can still assault this person, but also defend myself up against a secondary attacker right there. Let's talk about the clinch a little bit more right here. Things that kind of make this position very, very strong, very, very, let's just say fortified. When we go ahead and we do this, we pull down, I'm biting down the neck, biting down the arm, but then our arms right here, we want to pay attention to that. I don't want them straight out. I don't need them all the way bent in right here. I kind of like this middle ground, but what's important is, is the placement of the elbows. I don't want the elbows out. If they're out, this person has an in. So if Max comes on in right here, tries to take me down, ah, that's dangerous. But watch this. If I go ahead and I have my elbows down and he goes ahead and forces on in, that's when it creates this nice barrier right here. Okay, all right, let's take a look at that from the other position right there, the other side. As I go here, okay, I pull down, get into positions, watch the elbows. They're down right here, they're not up. Same with this right here, the elbow is down, not up just like this, they are down. The last thing I wanna go ahead and point out right here is, is my own body structure. I don't wanna be standing on up. I wanna make sure that I'm bent over, okay, that I have a lot of mobility, that I have a lot of bounce in this position right here. So as I go here, I'm down right here. Okay, if I'm standing up, this makes me a prime target for the person to go ahead and take me down. 
But if I'm bent down right here with my arms in place, my elbows down, man, I'm ready for combat. Not only from here, but now I can go, go ahead and do whatever I need to do to take this person out of control. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have Max grab the pad real quick. We're just gonna go through some basic knee strikes. You know, the one knee strike that we love from this cleanse position is this knee right to the person's torso right here. So if we go ahead and we get him into position just like this, then I fire up these knee strikes right here. Notice that as I'm firing this knee, I'm also pulling down, maximizing my power right here. Now I can do this outside knee right here. If I want to, I can do the inside knee. If this knee is in front, I can do a front knee, okay? If it's in back, I can do a back knee. And that's what we love about this position right here. A lot of flexibility. We can go ahead and we can adapt to whatever the situation calls for or whatever the opponent is giving us right here. Let's go ahead and let's set this up again. We go ahead and get into this position, getting into clinch right here. Here's my knee strikes. This is my main strike that I love. Now, once again, remember, I can go ahead and I can smash the foot. I can knee the thigh right there. I can kick in the knee if I need to. I can even go for right for the face right here. These are all targets that are available to us from this one position. All right, as a follow-up move right here, I wanna go over the dump. Now, what we call the dump is, is just putting somebody right on their butt, okay? It's exactly what it sounds like right here. I love this position because not only is it so brutal, but it gives us an opportunity to get out of the situation right here. After we go ahead and we put some hard hitting knees in, we dump the person down the ground, we make out the other way. So how we do this right here, we get into the position. <clears throat> Notice once again, elbows are down, my knees are bent, I'm in this good position right here. After I throw in my knee strikes right here, I'm gonna go ahead and do a C step with this outside leg right here or foot. As I do that, I'm gonna push his head down, Put a little bit of pressure right here, a little turning pressure, and you're gonna see he's gonna go flying right here. So notice right here, we go here, and then from here, C-step, and he goes right down to the ground. Go ahead and get back up, Max. So once again, as we're here, get into position, pop, pop, turning, right into the ground right here. Now, from this situation right here, I can go ahead and I can take the person out even more. I can follow the, maybe a stomp to the face, you know, whatever I need to do there, maybe a kick to the ribs. But what also I like to do is from right here, I like to go ahead, dump the person, and if I need to, easily get out of the situation right here. Let's take a look at that really quick. So as I go right here, we go here, pop, pop, C-step, down, and then I'm out of the situation right there. Let's talk about some viable follow-ups as well as far as striking goes. Max is gonna go ahead and get into this position. We're gonna go ahead and dump him once we get here. I'm gonna keep him close to me this time. What that means is I'm gonna make this roll a little bit tighter. So as I do this, he goes down here. Now as I go here, I can stomp right here. I can kick right here. Then I can get out of the situation. So whatever your choices are, whatever your options are, they're all available from this one clinch position.